Sorry about the mess. Uh, now, if you'd like to sit over there, I'll sit over here, and we're facing one another. Ah, ah, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't quite catch on that. Oh, you're from the council. Oh dear, I do hope I haven't been doing anything illegal with my bins. Oh, well that's a relief. <laughs> Uh, no, that's very kind of you, but I can't think of anything that I require, quite frankly. I'm quite self-sufficient, you know. Ah, uh, a stair lift. Oh, good heavens, no. I couldn't be doing one of those, all that whizzing up and down at breakneck speed. Oh, dear me, no. <laughs> it's very kind of you, though. Uh, but no, thank you very much. No, I don't mind at all, no. I'm uh, 97. Well... Tell the truth, in two weeks' time, I'll be 98. Oh, how kind. Well, yes, a lot of people do say that. I don't know why. I suppose I keep myself fit and my mind active. I have my little hobby. Well, I find a hobby is very, very important. It keeps the old grey matter going, right? Hmm. Oh, I think you'd find that terribly dull. No, I don't, don't mind them doing the least, no. Uh, my average day, I start at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. I don't need much sleep. Well, people don't need much sleep, you know. And then by 8 o'clock, I washed and dressed and I had my breakfast. And uh, by 9 o'clock, I sally forth to meet the world. <laughs> I catch the bus to Golders Hill Park. Do you know it? Oh, it's a lovely spot. It's old, very old. Older than me, in fact, if you can believe that. <laughs> I remember... Over 80 years ago, going there with my father. Yes, oh yes. I do know it hasn't changed a bit. Well, I suppose it has changed a bit. But to all intents and purposes, it's still the same Golders Hill Park. The same putting green, the same little bridges over the little lakes, the same ducks. Well, of course, it can't be the same ducks, but I suppose they're the great, 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 great descendants of the ducks I used to feed when I was a boy. <laughs> Yes, now what do I do? Um, I sit on the bench. Oh, I make a day of it, you see. I take a packed lunch with uh, a thermos of uh, tea, and uh, I sit there and uh, feed the ducks, and I read my paper, and watch the world go by, as they say. And then, about 11 o'clock, I go over to the bandstand. Now, the bandstand is a wonderful, unique architectural gem. I've never seen a band on it, I have to say, uh, but it's, it's, it's quite, quite unique. Um, I suppose it was built in, I don't know, Victorian times or Edwardian times, I'm not sure which, but it is a, a, a lovely little spot. And it stands quite alone in a clearing, grassy clearing with uh, shrubs and trees around it. And at about 11 o'clock, as I say, I go over to the bandstand and I stand behind it. And I wait for the first of my ladies, ladies of a certain age, shall we say. And uh, when the first one comes along, I step out from behind the bandstand and I laugh. Hmm? Flash, no, flash. Oh, yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, I find it most uh, agreeable. Yes, and, and they seem to enjoy it too. Yes. No, I don't recall any complaints. Quite the reverse. Golders Hill Park, which is quite near to Golders Green, which has a large Jewish community, as I'm sure you know. And one lady, when I flashed, she said, uh, Call that a lining. <laughs> no, 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 she didn't say that. Of course, she didn't. That's, that's just a joke. A Jewish joke. I do like Jewish humour. I'm very fond of Woody Allen. But um, uh, they do say good morning, Mr. Crabtree. In fact, some of them say, good morning, Mr. Crabtree, nice out today, isn't it? No, 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 no they don't say that either. I'm sorry, I'd be frivolous. But they do say, good morning, Mr. Crabtree. They're very polite. And I hope I'm equally polite in return. And this goes on for about an hour, I suppose. Then I go have my lunch. And uh, if I'm not too tired, I do tire rather easily these days, if I'm not too tired, I return to my station, as it were, and repeat the process for another half an hour, perhaps. I don't overtax myself. And then I catch the bus back home, and uh, I have my tea, and then usually in the evening I settle down to have uh, 
Well, an evening of television, really, with my companion, Phoebe. Uh, she's my cat. Cats are very independent, aren't they? Although, Eddie Izzard said that he would only believe that a cat is truly independent when he meets one that has its own bank account. <laughs> Isn't that a good joke? <laughs> Not Jewish, I don't think. But it is a good joke, and I do enjoy a good joke. Anyway, that's my day, and my little hobby. Do you know, I think it keeps me young. <laughs>